Yeah, for sure. All right. I'm a, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, what's good? It's your boy Jay Brock. It's clap it up and late. Everybody clap, right. and then we gonna jump straight into it. All right. Ready? What's good, y'all? It's your boy Jay Brock. It's clap it up and late. You know what I'm saying? We out here, out here with the homies. We got six Sam. How you feeling today, bro? What's good, man? I'm feeling good, man. Celebrating my birthday, man. I got love all out here. Everybody had a good time. We had a little water fight for the yeah. summer. Yeah. You know, it's going up. Okay, six Sam. Now, you are a legend in the Crenshaw district. You know what I'm saying? How long have you been making music, and what got you started? Man, I've been making music for over a decade now, and then, uh, I don't know, I was just into music from, like, other influences. My big brother was into music a lot, and I kind of picked up some of the music he listened to, and then, you know, from there, I fell in love with it in my own way, but yeah, about 10, 10 years plus. Okay, got you. So who has been some of your inspirations? I'm sure your brother has, but who has been your inspiration? Like, has Nipsey inspired you in any way? You know, Nip, Dom, you know, I actually did some designing for Nip, and I got to sit in some of those Victory Lab sessions, so for sure he influenced me, like, hand in hand, and Dom Kennedy also, and, you know, Jay-Z, Kanye, the GOATs. Yeah. Okay, got you. Now, what does the Crenshaw District mean to you? The Crenshaw Lit. District is home. This is, like, very lit. very lit, the epicenter of black culture. Like, if y'all want to know... Black people on the West Coast, if y'all want to see black people from the West Coast, you come to Crenshaw. Like, you feel me? That's where it's at. It's worldwide. Billion dollar industry. Maybe ten billion dollar industry. You feel me? And we need a chunk of that. What do people need to understand about Six Sev to understand why you make the music you make and why you do the things you do? Uh, I'm the mayor of Lamert, man. I do everything with pure intentions and love. And that's just the vibration that I'm, um, my frequency is on. You feel me? Like, I, I'm just spreading all positivity. You feel me? So that's who I am. I love my community. I grew up here. Audubon, Crenshaw alumni. You feel me? So I ain't no new nigga that just popped up doing shit in the hood. Like, you feel me? Been here, grew up here. Influence. I put everything into, like, my designs. Every, all my influences from the hood into my music, my designs, and you feel me? I'm just a leader in the community naturally, so yeah. I'm glad to be put in that position, and I just gotta step up to the plate and you feel me? Fulfill my, my goal, my role, and you know. Okay, it. so to be the mayor of Lemurk, you know what I'm saying? I've been hearing about that too. To be the mayor of Lemurk, what type of, is, 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 is there any responsibility that come with that that you feel like you have to uphold? Man, you gotta be uh, somebody that people can look up to, so all the time you got to be somebody that you can't let them down so i can't go do no bullshit where people be like damn you supposed to be the mayor yeah. i got to be a role model so i got to hold myself up to a certain standard yeah. so other people could you feel me see that and follow that if you're going to be a leader you feel me you can't be participating in the bullshit and the positivity you got to choose a side yeah. so you feel me once you choose that side stay on it and keep rolling that's right so has there ever been a moment where you were discouraged about doing everything you do and where you felt like you could have just laid down and stopped everything yeah, all the time. But like when you got a purpose and you've seen your know, change and affect people and affect the community over the last four years, like we wouldn't have had no water fight like this, or you feel me, it wouldn't nothing like this. So when I see the results, I gotta keep going no matter how I feel because it's bigger than me at that point. Mm. Hey, that's a big fact. It's bigger than you. What you gotta do is set up for the next generation. You gotta set up for your kids, you feel me? If you ain't thinking about setting up for your kids, then you in the wrong place. Campaign we pushing right here. Yeah. My nigga DC right here. Yeah. Pray for the hood. I wonder if the South Central in heaven. Yeah. Rest in peace on the dead homies. Yeah. Pray for the hood. Like, yeah. that's what we campaigning. Yeah. Okay, now, when you think about everything you've been through in life, where you stand today, what do you clap it up for? Like, for myself, like... What do you clap it up for when you think about everything you've been through and where you, and where you at now? Uh, what have you overcame that you like, man, I'm proud. I'm, I clap it up for myself for that. Man, the fact that I just I just be myself, you feel me? I don't let nothing influence me or do nothing that's out of my character. So yeah. I'm glad that I'm always able to just be myself and stand on that. Yeah. Straight like that. Make sure y'all clap it up. You know what I'm saying? Clap it up. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a quick flick in real quick. 